My name is Dr. Julie Bishop and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at OSU Sports Medicine. Um, I specialize in shoulder surgery, so I'm chief of the division of shoulder surgery and I've done two fellowships in shoulder and sports medicine. The rotator cuff is actually four muscles um, that come together to form one large tendon. That tendon looks like a cuff and it inserts on the ball. The shoulder is a ball and socket joint. So the four muscles converge to form a large tendon. The tendon inserts on the ball and it moves the ball. It moves your shoulder. So the rotator cuff allows you to raise your arm, elevate your arm, rotate out, rotate in, and go behind your back. There are two main ways that people injure the rotator cuff. You can traumatically injure your rotator cuff from a fall, so a slip and fall on the ice or a fall down the stairs. More commonly though is a more degenerative progressive um, injury to the rotator cuff. In many of our recreational athletes it's more of a chronic wear and tear, so it's repetitive overhead use, repetitive use of the shoulder can gradually deteriorate and degenerate the rotator cuff. And we see this a lot in our swimmers, our golfers, our tennis players, um, and any overhead athlete. A lot of patients will start to notice pain when they're doing overhead sports and often the pain is in the front of the shoulder and then it radiates down the outside of the shoulder to the elbow. However, as symptoms progress, patients will start to have pain with activities of daily living. As the symptoms progress, a lot of people will then start to have pain at rest and then one of the most aggravating um, symptoms that patients develop, but it's a more ominous symptom, is when you start to have pain at night and you're unable to sleep because of this pain. I think there are a couple situations when one should seek care. First, if you have a traumatic injury and a traumatic fall and you suddenly are unable to use your arm, you cannot reach up, you cannot rotate, you should really seek immediate care. Um, the other instances are when, one, your symptoms are just getting progressively worse. So you're having more weakness, more difficulty with overhead, and a more difficult time with pain. Um, and the third reason, uh, which we see very often in our recreational athletes, is when the pain interferes with you doing what you like to do. What we do know about rotator cuff tears is that they don't heal on their own. And so often, if your symptoms progress and you're having persistent pain and you notice more weakness, that's a very good sign that your tear is getting bigger. And the natural history of rotator cuff tears is to gradually get bigger. For those that don't have a tear and just have more inflammation, irritation, and tendonitis, the concern is that, is that if you work through the pain and you keep using the arm despite the fact that it hurts, you're not going to let it rest and heal and your symptoms are going to worsen um, and persist. The treatment options for rotator cuff injury really vary based on the severity of the injury. So for those patients who have more of what we call an impingement or tendonitis, um, very conservative treatment options work well. So first, just relative rest from your activities, often anti-inflammatory medications, and occasionally a cortisone injection are quite helpful. Physical therapy is truly the way to get back to working out and get back to your activities when you have a rotator cuff injury. And finally, if you have a known full thickness tear or you're a very active person, truly surgery is the only definitive treatment for a rotator cuff tear. Many patients who undergo rotator cuff surgery actually undergo the surgery so that they can get back to the things that they like to do. So many patients ask me, can I do my sports once I get through the surgery? And the most important thing to realize is that it does take three months for the rotator cuff to heal. And then for many people, it's three months more or up to a year to really regain your full strength. But the goal of surgery is to return um, people back to the sports they enjoy. I would choose OSU Sports Medicine for treatment of your rotator cuff injury for several reasons. One, we do some of the most advanced research in rotator cuff injuries and how to repair rotator cuff tears. We use the most advanced technology in fixing rotator cuff tears, so we use exclusively minimally invasive surgery and the latest techniques. And then finally, we have a very multidisciplinary approach to getting our patients back to their sports.